So in the previous exercise, you can see that we looped an entire array from zero to the end, from zero to the end. So the small increment that you will see in this one is that now you have to loop from, let me put it in English, there, from the end to the beginning, so it's the opposite. So instead of starting at zero, I don't want to start at zero. I want to start at the end. Remember, so this is the zero is the first position. I want the last one. So I have to replace zero with the last position. That how do you know the last position? Remember, it's my sample array dot length minus one. It's always going to be the array length minus one. So let last position it's equal to the array minus one, and then let stop at and let's say that we want to stop at zero, right? Because we want to start at the top and stop at zero. So I can put here, I want to start from the last position and I want to stop as long as I, it's more than stop at. Yeah, as long as it's more, actually as long as it's more or equal because it, I, want them, I want them to include zero stop at is zero so from from the length to or as long as is more or equal than zero i want to decrease in one so it's playing with the same things you know it after it, you see the solution you seem uh, it's always seems easy you know because of course, yeah it's simple we just have to get used to it, don't worry. Like if you didn't come up with the solution, actually it doesn't really matter. Probably I didn't as well when I was starting. And through the years, you get used to these little tricks like this so much that it becomes even boring. You know, like this is just normal straightforward thing. You, it's the initial variable as long as increase or decrease by certain amount, it's always the same. So let's see now if we test it and everything is perfect.